All right. So, hi. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Jeff Vandenberg, uh, level two down in Tacoma. Hi, Jeff. Uh, tested, you know, used to be out in the Midwest. Came out here. Kind of regret my decision now. Um, there's just more events you can get to. I agree with that statement. What? I agree with that. Uh, it's true facts. So, um, presentation today. Um, it's lovely. Um, it is a penalty that has existed since just about day one. So, and it hasn't really changed. Just for me how perfect of a infraction it is. <laughs> um, so, we'll touch on you know, what it is, you know, why we care about it, um, what it is not, how we deal with it, and then we'll have, courtesy of my flunkies, uh, some role play scenarios that we'll all get to watch, get to talk about and observe, and kind of have a talk about just what you know what lines do we have for when you know when would you call us a little thing? You know, it's very easy to you know, you know, if you're dealing with it at your small shop at a GP, you're dealing with it at you know, this event, that event, that event. You know, it's you come back to, to someone else to talk about it, so much context is just lost. You know, it, you know, it's just gone. Um, and so here I would like to just give people a chance so you know everyone watching the same thing to help that be a common point to talk about like, and hopefully go away thinking a bit more about you know, what is their line and why is that line for any measure of some like, So also, on you guys, don't mess up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, two slides. Uh, wow, well, that's right. Uh, from the IPG. Um, I, you know, most recent one, where it takes longer than is reasonably required to complete game actions. That is really the whole of the entire infraction. Um, we have this you know, caveat that you know, if you believe that they're intentionally doing bad things, they're doing bad things. Okay, and four horses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, this is the current definition that we try to arbitrate. It takes longer than is reasonably required to complete game actions. Nice, clean, clear definition. So let's go back in time real quick, about seven years. <coughs> Players who take longer than is reasonably required to complete game actions are engaging in slow play. Minor verbiage is about the only difference that has occurred to this infraction in seven years. And I'm certain some of you can go find like the 2005, 2006, 2004 IPG, and it's probably going to say the exact same thing. Um, there have been some lovely articles written by people who are way more intelligent than me, and I would recommend just, you know, going visit those in the room. Save yourself a lot. So, why is it a bad thing? Um, slow play is a corrosive um, influence on tournaments. Time is a shared resource. If you are, you know, using it more of it than, you know, you should be to take your game actions, in a match, you're depriving your opponent of time. Um, this is not fair. You know, it, it's as long as it's unintentional. Hey, it's just please, you know, please pick up the pace. All good. But you know, it, it is something that we do need to actively try to be on the watch. Uh, we, you know, rounds are only 50 minutes plus minus, depending upon balls might do 40 minutes. Higher level events will do 55, whatever. If time were infinite, we wouldn't have this infraction. Then life would be a whole lot more different. So, just to carve it out real quick, things that are not slow play. Stalling. Let's just leave it out in its corner. Stalling, it's unsporting content. I will not say cheating because I was called out by that many times. Um, so, you know, stalling is the deliberate act of modifying how you play. Um, the game. You know, suddenly you're taking 10 seconds to draw your card. Suddenly you're like, hmm, no, do I want to be tap, you know, tap that to attack or not? You know, you as a judge, you've seen something, or maybe the, you know, the, the, their opponent has called you over. They made a deliberate change in how they pace their play. Uh, something else that is not slow play is not playing to win. Uh, a interesting discussion point that actually came up to me uh, by Zach Robinson uh, was a situation where a player was, <coughs> you know, 
know, they were take, make, they were ensuring that game one took as long as possible. They were not deliberately slowing down their pace of play. They were taking all of their game actions in a reasonable course. They were deliberately not choosing to make an appropriate game action. You know, to, to make the game action that would let them win. They had some creature, you know, whatever it was. They were like, no, nope, I'll just keep sitting on this, keep sitting on this, keep sitting on this. That is their you know, entire product to do. Um, additionally, sometimes players can just be bad. You know, they could just be missing. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got this overrun in hand. Or, you know, you know, this, this is something I should be doing. <laughs> um, it is not for us, generally speaking, to try to oppose strategic perspective on the game as much as it is, you know, we are, you know, this infraction is concerned way more about the mechanics of the game. Are, you know, is the player actually doing the mechanics and motions of the game and advancing the game state in a constant and consistent way so that way the game will hopefully get to its natural conclusion. So, some things that are slow play. And this nice bullet point. Um, this. Uh, bluffing excessively, you know. You see, you know, someone's just turn after turn, just clicking some cards back and forth. Yeah, they're two hands, but whatever. You know, if they're not, you know, they're just looking and doing nothing. Looking, doing nothing. Looking, doing nothing. Yeah. At a, and, you know, at a certain point, you say, hey, just please pick it up. You know, shuffling your deck repeatedly. You know, this is uh, notable um, in your in sideboarding. Someone's just taking too long in sideboards. Definitely make a point. You know, these are some, you know, often some nice, easy things to identify. Like, yes, that is nice and concrete. Uh, taking game actions that don't advance the game state. If for whatever reason the person is wanting to tap and untap the self monolith, <laughs> and choosing to not shortcut this for whatever reason, <laughs> da, da, da. Uh, how many times do you want to do that? I don't know yet. I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> um, pretty sure we all know some people like that. Um, going in the tank too often. You know, my rule of thumb is all. You know, I'm watching your matchup. I'll let you go into the tank once. You know, if you, you know, take 30, 40 seconds to just kind of evaluate. You know. Things have happened in the game. You know, it's a major tag. We, we we all kind of know this is a make or break. You know, for you for this match, game three, whatever. Sure, I'll give you that. Whatever. The second time you've gone in on the next very next turn, game state has not changed. You know, not in not unless Warp World or Genesis Wave or whatever it is happening because we all love those cards. Um, but you know, game state doesn't tend to just evaporate. You know, just okay, just come into the game. Give you a moment to think about it, but from there you should have your lives. That way you have your next couple of turns. You do not need to reevaluate everything just because plus one. Uh, and then we get back to the ultimate definition: not taking game actions in a timely fashion. Again, this is you know this is where you know you, you kind of feel you know feel slow play the most is just. How long are they taking to drop? How long are they, you know, are they taking like, hmm, I want to attack with that, maybe that one, but I don't know. It did block that, that, that. No, just please, you know, please make your combat decisions. Um, so, common thing, you know, again, most of this is, you know, on the mechanics of the game, the actions, and, and, and. So, now that we all have a nice clear uh, definition of what it is, and we can all answer on the test after the presentation, um, how do we identify slow play? You know, you've come up to a match. Uh, maybe you've been called by a judge, maybe you've not. You're, just, you're out watching match, matches, like, you have, like you've been instructed to by your head judge. Um, you, know, you know, one thing is, you go up to a table. Is it immediately clear just whose turn it is? If it's not, you might want to stick around that table for a bit, just so that way you can help address some potential slow play issues uh, later on that are, that are likely to crop up later on. Um, you know, 
come into a match, just there's nothing. You're like, okay, what's going on? Um, another metric that some will use um, is what is the play or slash a play? And then tacking on some arbitrary length of time after that, 10, 15 seconds to like, okay, you should have been able to make some sort of reasonable play at that point. I am not generally a fan of that particular metric just because that requires or introduces the bias of strategic knowledge. Maybe I know this deck and I can make a snap call about what the play should be. Maybe I don't know the deck and so I go into the tank myself trying to go, ooh, that's an interesting deck. What could I do? What could I do? There's so many possibilities. And suddenly I, as a judge, am playing the deck and that is not my role or responsibility in this particular event. Um, my job is to make sure that everyone has a fair and fun time. Uh, my personal metric I like most is the am I board test. <laughs> um, I'm watching this match. I can see, you know, see what's going on. There's a give and take. You know, are, you know, is this match entertaining me? If I'm not being entertained, odds are the opponent is not being entertained either. You know, they're you know they're being pulled out of the, they're being pulled out of the match too much. Um, perhaps they don't re fully realize the time that's you know going on. Maybe they are unwilling or uncomfortable making a judge call to try to address this. Say, hey, judge, is this actually slow play? Um, so it is personally, like slow play is something I am very willing to just step into a table without a call and saying, hey, I need to pick up. Or hey, this is a warning. And without even having a single judge call issue because this is something that, you know, it is a part of the IPG that we can be at least more proactive about than a good many other parts. This triggers, like, no, no, we're, that's a landmine. We're not touching that. GRVs, a little bit sketchy, but here, always, always feel free to try to address slow play if you feel like you are seeing it. Dealing with slow play. Um, slow play in its, you know, you know in session 3.3, three, you know, we still have kind of one of the last vestiges of the old caution. Uh, players often do not realize how long they are taking. Uh, conversation I had with Andrew Gullard on the Northwest Judge Slack. Two players on the future match table. Uh, both swore. This, you know, this only took three seconds. He went back sometime later to go you know, review like the video coverage. It was actually 15 seconds. Uh, so oftentimes just saying, hey, you know, pick up the pace. You guys only got 15 minutes left. And like, oh, we're still in game one. Yeah, we need to pick, yeah, we, we need to deal with this. Or we're just finishing, you know, we're still in the middle of game two, whatever. Often just that little bit of time push will do a lot to help, you know, pull the players back into the game. Um, if you do need to give your warning, make sure to give it when it's minimally disruptive. Um, let that player finally make a play of whatever sort and then tell them to, yeah, I need to give you this warning and pick up your pace of play for serious this time. Um, perhaps not phrased quite that way, but you get what I'm saying. Um, if you do it while they're still making that, you know, st you know, still going through their decision tree, you are going to get, well, I need to start from the beginning again because you disrupted me. And you're just wanting to roll your eyes, but there you go. Um, <laughs> It always happens, and you are, know that you're likely going to get appeal. For whatever reason, I have had a higher percentage of slow play appeals than probably any other penalty. GRVs, mistriggers, tardiness, whatever. People are like, no, I wasn't slow play. I'm going to call the head judge. Like, okay, let them do that. You know, like that is their right. Keep playing. We'll go. You know, we'll go get the head judge. You know, you don't want them to stay, you know, you do not want the game to stay stopped while you're going to get the head judge. There, there's nothing about, you know, a slow play penalty in particular that requires a game state to stay in that exact condition that you found 
when you went to deal with the call or issue of the board. Um, don't talk about the, you know, if for whatever reason you're dealing with a bluffing player, this is um, an interesting discussion point. Don't blurt out anything accidental, like, you are just got two lands. Slow play. Don't, no. <laughs> Bad call off the table. Um, yeah, yeah, that one's a little kind of awkward if that happens to go that way. Um, but also, you know, if you do actually give that warning, uh, you, do, you do make sure to also inform the players that if the match goes to time, they will receive two extra turns. Um, it's not something that usually comes up, but it is the best partial remedy for trying to address the negative effects of slow play on that particular match. Um, there are interesting corner cases of what happens if it's both players slow playing and how many extra turns do they actually end up getting. And we'll leave that as, as an exercise for the reader. Um, so that is a bit of a walkthrough. And now we have some scenarios to walk through. So Jeremy and Sam also rearrange these tables, pull up some light a bit, and come around and stand up, watch, and roll. <laughs>
Storm Town, eight or nine. <laughs> Obviously eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. You're right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, has anyone is, is anyone not saying seeing slow play at this point? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Probably would have called it before the pyretic ritual. Before the pyretic yeah. ritual. Yeah, like right after the desperate, where there wasn't much change to his yeah. hand, yeah. and he clearly was already like knowing what he was going to do to an extent, and that much information is not going to add that much extra thinking, even with him playing storm. The second gets actually probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When you take like 30 seconds to draw your card, it, it's like, yeah. And it's these game actions that really add up over the progress of the game. Sure. And the Jataxian Pro was painfully slow, and the following action, uh, in my mind, especially in Storm, when you start your first action, every other action should have already been decided. Right. Game so, actions are a big one. Like, they lay out their opening hand in a smiley face, and they wait for the eyes yes. last, and like, oh, I need this right eye to be a land. Come on. Just pick up your hand. <laughs> so, let's go. Play the game. Sure. So when do you uh, issue the caution? Because he was in the middle of a very like long and complicated turn there. So um, would you step in? I was, you know, I would step in like you know personally after a spell, you know, just you know casting any of the, any of the given spells. You know, it was just you know here's a situation where I think that stepping in sooner, like okay. You're, you know, this player is being slow on the individual game actions, and so, you know, it's way easier to step in on those sort of, you know, situations. That way it's not, you know, it's not like someone being, you know, deep thinking for like 30, 40 odd seconds or whatever, but we'll go over here real quick. I'm gonna call it my own ignorance. I'm not familiar with the deck and I couldn't see his hand. I wouldn't have known that he wasn't doing anything useful. Um, from standing over here as somebody who hasn't seen that before, yeah. like yeah, I'm actually I see a lot of, so yeah. everyone else is laughing. I'm going with I didn't see. I mean, I think yes, there was somebody you're else right. There were some cards that yeah. were played individually, kind of slowly, but like no, I yeah. don't play a lot of storm, and no, one I don't of those see actions was egregious, and maybe the sequence what? was, but I feel like the, the, that's the, what you're the saying earlier. The second pro, the second sure, pro. Yeah. okay. That's yeah. why yeah. I was like, like, very weary on trying to play it early because, like, he could be like, "Do I really want to use this Kataxi probe right now?" Yeah. And then, like, so you let him do the first spell, then the second spell, and then the Manamorphose, and then it's clearly that he's just playing a bunch of rituals, and he's not really doing anything that's progressing his side of the board. Well, I mean, if he's, if he's account. fishing for cards, like if he's about to, okay, I know a little bit about this deck. If he's if he's yeah. fishing for cards because he knows he's about to lose, otherwise he's like, I'm gonna keep playing the metamorphoses and and the get probes, hoping I'll get a card that's gonna get me out of this. Yes, yeah. like, like I'm not gonna tell it. Really and thing. especially from over here, I can't tell if that's the case. Is that he took time between resolving the metamorphose and then finishing to resolve it by drawing the card. Right. Yeah. And then he goes, what's my storm count? Like three times messing it up. Well, again, you we're know, talking, you were saying earlier about, about player and experience. Like having been that player not that long ago who takes a long time to play, that distinction's really important to me. I, I do have a question regarding this. Sure. At, at what point should you take player communication into account of regarding whether it's slow play? Such as like, say he's playing and he's just like, I'm sorry, this is taking a moment. I, I'm not familiar with this, or there's a lot of math involved right now. I do apologize. If the other player gives consent, being like that's okay, do you still intervene? It's hard for the other player that's... not to say that's okay. Like what? I mean, you know, there are a ton of people who would not be able to say, okay, that's great, kid, but I need you to hurry up anyway. Yeah. You know, well, like, like think of draft where like board states get super convoluted with creatures. And they're debating on whether or not they're going to attack. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, Literally, here, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll touch on Nathan. So, a couple part. things. Uh, for the draft example, four states don't de develop in one turn. Yes, you can cast Warp World. Yes, you can cast Scramble First. These things don't actually happen in the old <laughs> 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 Also, 
all of a, I'm not all of a sudden my opponent put up 10 power on the board, and I, you know, I have like 5 power already. This is a board state that's been developing all game. What if they ulted an Ugin? <laughs> if you ulted an Ugin, you're not winning any. If you can't proceed from that board state. Or collect a comp. There's a lot yeah, of scenarios. The, there are could. scenarios. Right. That, that, that turn might take a little bit longer. That turn might take a little bit longer. But right. every and sequence and turn yeah. shouldn't take as long. Right. And furthermore, as in a competitive event especially, I have an expectation that my players know what they're doing. Yes. If I have a player playing Storm, a per, like, painfully slow, I'm going to say, you sir need to speed up, and if they answer, I'm sorry, I'm new to this deck, I, I will answer, you should probably know what you're doing with your deck, you're here to win. Right. I, I would not say that as a no. judge to a player. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not in those words. Yeah. But in some form to convey that meaning, that would hopefully impress no. content. And then what about regular have... Ariel? You don't have well, there's no regular Ariel. Yeah, but you're still going to have people do that. Time. There's still time. You have that case use, your time. use your best judgment at regular Ariel. But at regular Ariel, chances are you know the players. Yeah. For most mm -hmm. of the people in here. Yeah. Well, there's, 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 a, there's a first time for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's yeah, always so a bunch of group. people that come out of the walls on pre releases. Guys, I think it's really important to realize that, like, uh, there's not a lot of really important to realize that, like, uh, just because we're calling them for something doesn't mean it's a punishment. They are yeah. playing slowly, no, like objectively they're playing. Yes, right. that's something. So they need to know that they are, and it's okay. It's like it's it's not okay that they are, but it's not like we're saying, hey, you're playing slowly. I'm gonna give you a game loss or something. Yeah, we have to get out. It's it's what? just like you need to know that you are playing slower than most people in a competitive scene will, and people are going to expect that you play quicker. Um, yes. And like I have sympathy for that people. Is good phrasing. Who, yeah. I have sympathy for people who walk into a tournament and have a deck they've never played before, but at the same point, like, you still have to play expediently. That's why I asked about communication, whether or not that should impact. Um, I'll touch on that real quick before heading over to Orin. If, like, if an opponent asks me, like, hey, I need an extra moment, if they've been playing at a reasonable pace, you know, most of the rest of that match, like, okay, fine, I'll give you just that little bit, you know, a couple of extra moments. There's still 20, 25 minutes left on the clock, whatever. Yep. Um, you know, it's if you're needing that moment, fine. I've actually had players. I had judge a PPTQ. Player was playing combo deck along the lines of like Storm, whatever. Don't remember exactly. Um, I went up to him. I told him like, okay, I need to give you a slip. You know, I'm actually giving you the warning. He was like, I know, that's fine. Do it. I still just need this time to think. He, he was actually a math uh, prof, and <laughs> he then comboed out perfectly. But <laughs> but it was just, you know, he needed that time, and so he was willing to take some of that pain to make sure that he was able to actually fulfill. So, or Yeah, so two things. One, what I'd, what I'd say really cemented a slow play for me was when he kept fumbling with the storm mm -hmm. count. Like, he, not really keeping track, and it took him forever to set the die each time. Uh, and then the second thing is, uh, for the new player case, you know, I, Again, he is playing slowly. It's not deliberate. If it were deliberate, it would be stalling. Yeah. So it is slow play, and if he can't play at a reasonable pace, it's not fair to the rest of the tournament, even yeah. even if this person really needs the time. I th and I think one important distinction, going back to, to Finn's point, was like even if it's somebody who's new with the deck, there's a difference between taking slightly longer to make decisions and having issues slow playing through mechanical parts of the game. Mm -hmm. And that's the big thing, like if it's, if it's a new player playing Storm, but if they have a lot of experience, they'll still be tapping mana, moving counters, like those will still be efficient, even if they're taking slightly longer to think. So there's a there's a balance there. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's the ones who are, who are fumbling their hands around, double checking their graveyards 18 times. But deciding on what spell to cast is different than taking forever to cast a spell. Yeah, exactly. Right. So go here, and then I'll go on to the next scenario. The uh, question that I had was, uh, so say you give someone a caution, like, hey, I, I need you to pick up your pace, uh, and they do pick up their pace, but they're still playing semi-slowly, like, when is it like, okay, I'm going to give you the warning, you know, you did increase your pace, but not sufficient, when, where's that line of sufficient, you know, speed increase, I guess would be the way to say it. I, at least, I personally would go back to the, am I still bored? Okay, I may be less, I may not be wanting to stab my eyes out now, that's a plus, uh, but if you're still not progressing the game at a reasonable state, yes, congratulations, you did improve, that's great, I'm happy for you. 
but there is still the general expectation that three games should be done inside of 50 minutes, unless there's siege rhinos and whips of variables around. <laughs> so, so do we just automatically get banned company your slow play warning? <laughs> okay, I would love to start a tournament with like everyone on a slow play warning, like, okay, play as though you're all on a, wa on a warning. <laughs> um, all right, next scenario. Okay, last turn. Uh, drop turn. Tick up, kill your plant. The... Tick up on your Git Rog monster that's a permeating mass. Sure. <laughs> counters on the team. Resolve. Resolve. Activate hissing black fire. Put counters on the team. Sure. Uh, move to combat. Go ahead. Attack Liliana. Liliana takes three. Uh, pass the turn. Sure. Draw card to turn. Play land. Take Liliana off targeting your permeating mass. Sure. Pass turn. Make a plan. Take up on your permeating mass. Yep. Animate hissing quicker. Do you have delirium? Yes. Do you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How many lands? I have six lands. So Sylvan Advocate's a four five. Room players a four four. Yep. What does his ability do? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a baby tiger scheming when I deal damage to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I get to take as many cards out of the top of my library and put them in the graveyard. As many. As, as many. many. Wow. Of the top three. Um, <laughs> if you want to combat. Of my library. My dad got combo. Results. No, Attack. Attack. Nat Lily at you. Block. Uh, Kalidus. Take three. Sure. I gain four. Right? Yep. Four. Take. Turn. Okay, and I think we'll call that one there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's the delirium part. Delirium? For sure. How many lands do you have? Lamb's yeah. a big one. Yeah, yeah. lambs. Something that he can determine himself. I didn't even feel like I was looking at it. Okay. So he had, demonst he had demonstrated that he grokked the mm -hmm. board state that first turn, and it, when he made the attack, the like, time. relatively quick, yeah. quickly. And then the next turn, nothing had changed about the board state. Ostensibly, like nothing big. Uh, one one action by Lily had been taken, and then suddenly he's in the tank and asking a lot of questions that. I also have four lines yeah. in my hand. I also didn't know that. Right. So. A permeating mass. It was a permeating mass. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we like to have clear I mean, board so states for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I mean, so for me, it was. So he passed his turn. He took a quick turn. He takes. Uh, he draws his card. Thinks a bit. That's fine. Uh, so does so little stuff. Says move to combat, and then goes into the tank again. Yeah. At that point, nothing has changed since the previous time he thought for a while. The previous time was already pushing it because like nothing happened on his turn. But all that's happened is he has one more card. He shouldn't need to go in the tank. The board looks the same as it did last time. You've already thought about it. Play on. Yeah, that's that's the time that he started going about delirium and 
all these random no, things. I'm saying on the previous yeah. turn. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I would call sure. it on the previous one. point that I don't think it's been quite made yet, and I'm curious how you feel about it, but I've heard from some judges who've worked with that cautions are very easy to give and you should be encouraged to do them because with all of us generally erring on the side of it's not slow play, because we're always sort of nervous of actually going in and saying that, if we're a little more active in, in just saying, hey, I need you to make a play, it's highly unlikely that you're incorrect in that. And it really has no negative effect on the player. You're not giving them any record warning or anything. Also, when it comes to when is it okay to say that, a caution is very minimally disruptive to the game. They're not writing anything. It should be. You'd think it would be, but in my oh, experience, yeah. the second you give a caution, the game grinds to a halt while they argue with I mean, you. That might be true, but <laughs> yeah. it has to be done. Because you're saying that I need you to pick up the pace. Just building on that last comment, game. there's a school of thought where you shouldn't give a caution for slow play. You should just give the warning because judges are too cautious to give the caution to begin with. Chances <laughs> are, you know, you're the second judge there, you know, rounds five and six. Chances are they've been slow playing the whole game. If you're handing out so basically, cautions, it depends on how cautious you are. Yes. If, if you're handing out caution, it's probably worth a warning. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah, sometimes. You've, you've probably already gone past the point of well, when me, you should have caution. To me, a caution yeah. is not saying caution, it's just like, could you please make a play? Yeah. Which yeah. oftentimes is not cause for a warning, usually, just like their first time. Um, I will at least you know, will say that since I've started working on this, I've actually found myself just actually being out there more, just saying, pick it up, pick it up. Um, you know, when I would see an individual match, so I can definitely understand that school of thought of just give that warning in that first place. Uh, but I've also seen just how distracted players get. You know, and we, you know, us watching Magic, we also then get pretty much just sucked down into that same whirlpool, and we lose. Like, oh hey, I guess the Remiss just passed in that round. Huh? Fun, fun fact. Uh, I think you said it really well earlier uh, when you said, you know, if they're going to contest it. Remember, you're still the authority there, and if they want to take you a higher power, sure, and just go through that. But remember that you are, as the judge, there for a reason, and you're making that call for a reason. So stand behind what you stand behind your call. Sure. The judge you. Like they weren't there. Why would they know? I think the chance, <laughs> the chance to be appealed should never really factor into your calls in any case. No. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's really important. Like I, I didn't realize this before this. Um, for your uh, seminar, uh, that you get two extra turns if you get a warning. Mm -hmm. So this really protects Sam, who only took 20 seconds over two turns against this guy who took, you know, <laughs> two minutes and 40 seconds over two turns. So it's just like, it really protects the player that's getting slow played against, which is really nice. I didn't realize that. Okay. So, Derek. One thing that you touched on before that I was going to ask earlier is, say you are the head judge and your floor judge gets appealed on a slow play. What can you even do beyond just, hey, did this guy play slow? Did it? You're be, literally be, just... Be, <laughs> be, be angry Robot Silva. Um, go over, <laughs> slap the players down, and say, play on. Because uh, th there is really very little that you can do. If, if my floor judge says, I gave this caution, you know, I gave this even warning, I thought they were slow play, there is like very little that the players can meaningfully tell me that's going to... Uh, over the chat, game's playing super fast. <laughs> <laughs> we're ten really? minutes in and we're halfway through game three. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you got me there. Okay. <laughs> but what you don't know is that games one and two took only one minute. <laughs> Same turn for the last nine minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, storm players, they storm real quick. Uh, okay, I'm thinking of what time for one last scenario. Um, similar state. But fun times. So, fun times. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is slow play. Slow this is times. a pretty miserable infraction. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much overtime are we going? <laughs> we are not. <laughs> we shortly. We do have extra turns, just not extra time. Uh, <laughs> right, Michael, first, you run first. Slow play. Uh, I'll get <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> one note on extra turns. Uh, I, think, double press. I think we're all on the same page, but that is yeah, one turn each. Not one turn each. Turns, yeah. Yeah. For just yes. anybody who's like, oh, it's two extra turns, they only get one more turn for that each person. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Except for anyone who just get trog, start our card, trog, just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Forest, forest. If it takes longer than me. Oath of Nissa. Do you just play two lands? Yes. Get your own two lands? Yes. Oh.
<laughs> Good questions. Uh, reveal it, please. Sure. Play Cleus and pass. Untap, uh, sacrifice a forest, draw a card, draw a card. The PT was only minimally dis 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 um, distracting. <laughs> <laughs> play a swamp, play a swamp. Uh, move to combat? Sure. Uh, attack. Lily. With these guys. You have delirium? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was an ironic delirium. <laughs> Damage resolves. Okay. Uh, <laughs> kill everything. Terminating <laughs> <laughs> mass, terminating mass. Dead. Okay. Um, yes. Go to this, uh, Trigger? What? Second to check them. Oh. Permutation. <laughs> <laughs> Play Permutation Mass Pass. We're supposed to call that. <laughs> Which? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you would. Right. Oh, you mean if that was action? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Make a point. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop. We'll stop it about here. This is painful. <laughs> Wait, um, I don't even play Sam. Yeah. Yeah. This is <laughs> yeah. This is not what normal standard looks like. This is why I don't play standard. Normal standard does not play Carmine. <laughs> yeah. 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 so good. No, they're is clearly both new to standard. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a particular yeah, well, is there a point? Like Which point? To zombies I mean, so uh, I would not have called slow play I, in this game. Uh, the board was changing a lot between each time that they stopped the thing. And as much as we laugh, asking your opponent if they have delirium is a yeah, reasonable yeah. question that I will find myself asking a lot. Just yeah. to, even if you're just uh, making yeah. sure. Sure. Well, especially since you're attacking. Way. Yeah. The issue that I had is there are a lot of shortcuts that are acceptable in, in the game, like animate both my hiss and quagmires, swing with them, that both players were uh, neglecting to do. So I might just like caution them both to play more quickly. Yeah. They just weren't shortcutting anything. Did he was animate my both issue. and only block with one? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wasn't sure if I saw that. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, 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 like that's, I see it's a poor strategic decision. It's a poor tactical decision rather than yeah. uh, actual slow play. Yeah. I, know, I felt like every single action was just taking much longer than it needed yeah. to by both players. Yes. And that was actually what this scenario was. Uh, was it one player in particular playing egregiously slow? It was both. Just you know, playing a touch too slow, and you know that that can happen in matches that we just 
I think we also need to deal with us. You know, I should still like that caution. Like, hey, you guys are just you both. Like, can we just speed up this whole match? Please, I got that for you. Yeah, in some fashion. Uh, lose, attack, you know, lose shortcuts that you could be using. Whatever. So just not pausing for five seconds after every. Yeah, Ben? Do you take into account if both players, this came up briefly earlier, if both players are comfortable with the pace of play. Let's say they're both, again, maybe both a little bit newer and both playing a little bit slowly, but they're both okay with that. Is that a situation where you would step in? Yeah. Assuming that, like, let's pretend you actually know that they actually are. Take away the feeling obliged. Yeah, no, okay. If, if, if it seems like, hey, they're both bantering, they're talking, they're, yeah. you know, yeah, they, 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 seem to be, they seem to be having fun, but it's now like, 30 minutes in, you know, 20 minutes left on the clock, and it's still game one. Yeah. I would probably still step in and say, hey, glad you guys are having fun. <laughs> but, you know, the situation's very easy. You just go up and say, hey, I just want to let you know that you guys have, you know, 20, 20 minutes left. Yeah. yeah. So like, that's how I always like, there's no negative there. They are like, oh, thanks for letting us know. We didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. That's, you know, it's, if I'm running a uh, PPTQ at like a smaller shop that doesn't have like a round clock up or something, mm -hmm. and even if there is one, yeah. I'll still do like that. Hey, Tim has morning guys, just so that way you're aware of. Remember time when the uh, judging yeah. elders moon things, give them the 13 minutes. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, the other I don't like that, it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the the other point I have to add to that though is if you a lot of times if you're watching, you can ask them what game they're on, and then you can be like, yeah, you guys have like 10 minutes left, so you you might want to at least finish one of your games. <laughs> Sure, as much scorn in your voice as possible. <laughs> sure, what's up? Um, so I just had a, a few questions. Um, some of these, like most of these examples were more like takes a couple seconds here, then takes maybe a little bit longer than you should there, and it, it's after each action, there's a, an interval of time that's maybe a little bit longer than it should be. Yeah. Um, but so, so you get some guys who they take an action, they think a little bit, they take an action, they think a little bit, but then you get some guys and they sit there and they tank for 45 seconds and then take like 15 actions in two seconds and pass. So like they have their entire turn planned out and then yep. go, bah, 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 go. Well, right, right. So that's, like... that's why when I say is you're allowed to spend a bunch of time thinking if the game state Experience has changed significantly since yeah. the last time you did. So if you take a bunch of time thinking, then uh, make a plant token, then declare tax, then take a bunch of time thinking, that's slow line. If you mm -hmm. take a bunch of time thinking, pass, uh, make your plays, pass the turn, your opponent makes a bunch of plays, you draw for your turn and think again, yeah, a lot has changed and now and it's okay to think about it. But what if they're, you know, they're maybe in their, like it's their turn, they're sitting there and they're maybe in their head, they're doing well, their arc bound right. right. What, I, what I'm asking yeah. is you know, how much has the game state changed? Well, maybe the game state hasn't the, changed at all. Since the last time they, they played an ornithopter and they're going, okay, do I now have right. enough things to it's, like wrap her off. And it's how 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 long has how much has the game state changed since the last it's, time they went into the tank? But yeah, he's, but he's saying that planning future moves, basically just saying, right. or planning and right. then so if you go into the tank yeah. once, mm -hmm. that's fine. Yeah, you can't go into the tank again Every single until turn until yeah. the game state has significantly right. yeah. changed. Yeah. So, so the next yeah. turn you just play. So that might okay. So that yeah. might be then like what if somebody plays four yeah, horses exactly. so, and so, then they're still uh, advancing uh, the game state during their combo? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing probes. I'm going to attack step. Come on. <laughs> I'm even making that complicated. Let me do it. They want the warning. It's okay. I'm just gonna float this in three. So. Yeah, it's that's that's the end. You got like five minutes. So thank you all, and this was way more people than I was expecting. Thank you. Slow play during extra.